TJ joined the Down to Business podcast today and we discussed all things content as he's already knocked out all of his goals and content creation for 2023. He's focused on 2024 right now. And if you're somebody like me, I was mind blown. I'm somebody who takes it month by month by month. So hearing that he's already organized, hearing that his content is already created and set for the year, man, that was amazing. So he'll even give you some tips and tricks as to how he stays organized, including one of his favorite tools. But on top of that, he disclosed another opportunity out there for collaboration. He's big on, you know, no competition here. If we all work together, whether we stay in our own lanes, whether we're in different niches and services and crafts, we can all come together, plug in and help one another out nonetheless. So find out how you can be a part of TJ's team or even something that he's doing that he can collaborate with you on. So without further ado, enjoy episode 124, Multifaceted Creativity. All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Down to Business Podcast here with Tamar Turner, man. When I tell y'all content is key, it's key, man. It'll definitely bring some people in your path. It'll definitely put some people in front of you who you've really been following the whole time, who you've really been connected with. You don't really realize it until you really start paying attention to it. So that's really the story for TJ. Like me and TJ definitely have a lot of mutuals came in contact, just did a lot of the same things, but never really, really sat down, chopped it up, wrapped it, everything like that. But something I always noticed about him was the content. It was from, from one, from the skating one, because growing up, I was a big like skate. Like I had to roll, you couldn't tell me the rollerblades. I go to my school parking lot, I get it, I get busy in there. Now, obviously his content was just way, it just captured me more. And I feel like even at some points before, like, I feel like people kind of made a a wave to skating like more so more recently like a lot of people are kind of hopping on that but i'm saying he's been doing this for like some years now like from the barbershop content to the skating content i was kicking it because obviously you know fellas who don't need the, the lineups and all of that i actually got to get my cut this week we're not going to talk about that but you know just from being able to connect that way and not necessarily always say words to the person or always check in with the person but see what they kind of have going on i think that it's amazing so naturally when he was he kind of saw what i had going on in charlotte like that he was letting me know hey yo if you ever out here let's make something happen let's get together let's let's shoot it and i'm like yo like sometimes it's so it's people right in your midst right in front of you who you don't even realize who you kind of as much as i was going to north carolina i had never connected with TJ and it was just like damn I had been there multiple times we definitely could have set something up we're gonna set something up even after this but the fact that he reached out to me he did that and then it popped in my head I said yo bro so why don't we just hop on the interview hop on the podcast let's make it happen and then nonetheless here we are so to see you know all of that like even start from back like when I was at ECU, North Carolina days and everything like that, to really see it come full circle now and to really see everything that he has going on. And he's even going to give y'all a little more of a taste of what to expect from him. I'm excited. So, TJ, bro, how's everything on your end? How you feeling? How you doing, man? I'm good, man. How you living, bro? I'm, just, I'm good, bro. Day, honestly, you know, yeah. these days, the way things going, bro, it's crazy. It's a lot going on, for sure, for sure. So can you, one, just break it down for us? Just tell us a little bit about yourself. And then can you, two, just tell us what brings you on the Down to Business podcast today? Yeah, for sure. Um, so my name is TJ. Um, you know, I'm from a small town. Like, a lot of y'all probably never heard of. It's called Lewisburg, North Carolina. Um, and it's crazy because one of those things, like, you know, when you're growing up, you get to college, like, you recreate yourself. It's like, oh, where you from, bro? I was from Virginia. I was from Maryland. I was from New York. I was from New York, bro, like. But nah, I'm from a small, I'm, now that I've left and came back, it's like, bro, I'm, I'm from home. You know what I'm saying? I'm putting on for where I'm from. So I'm from a small town called Lewisburg. It's near Raleigh. Um, other than that, man, uh, um, I, I consider myself in the most humble way, like, Mr. What Don't You Do? You know what I'm saying? Um, I create, like, my number one thing now is creating content. Um, that's what I'm pushing for. That's, like, my goal. Like, I've seen one of my, um, one of my idols, I would say, um, Carlos, Carlos, uh, Carlos Jr., um, he's on Instagram, super popping, probably like a half a million followers. This man gets like that three or four reels. You got to pay 50 K, $50,000 for like a couple of reels, bros. All, almost unheard of, but now it is, you know what I'm saying? So, um, that's something, that's one of my long-term goals. Um, other than that, man, um, I, I'm a barber. I love to skate. Um, before skating, I was, it was like strictly dancing. Um, I, I started dancing like 2010 back in the, in the jerking days, <laughs> Um, but even with, um, other than that, um, you know, I paint, um, got a clothing line. I'm wearing it now. Ambitious Rebirth. Um, actually, I think that's how we ended up connecting. Um, we're talking about the clothing line. Shout out to Brenton. Brenton, um, you know what I'm saying? ECU, my hometown, man. Um, so Brenton, so we hopped on, we was on, I was on live with Brenton. A couple of the homies hopped in, was chopping it up. You know, first we was talking shit, but then it was like, oh, so where you from? What you do? And then it started evolving from there, man. 
it's crazy, bro, to just see everything come together. Because I had even came across um, Ambitious Rebirth at ECU, where Spit, Spit was doing a lot of the promotion. Yeah, and stuff like so we had connected. So it was like, yeah. man, we were around each other, like, and not even realizing it. But I love that one, something I learned coming to North Carolina, coming to ECU was when I was introduced to so many different cities, places I've never heard of. Like the two five itself is just a, <laughs> a massive place. Like, but wow. two, it was just like so many people, like you said, a small town, never heard of it. I was from here, from there. So many people took pride in where they were from. Though. Like they didn't play around. There. I had never, cause being from Philly is, is really one area code. It's two one five. Like that's really, it's, mm-hmm. it's so many parts of Philly, but naturally we all here. You either two one five, two six seven, so everything like that but north carolina i'm getting it. 336 910 the 919 the 704 the two foot and god forbid the 25 come out so it was just like wow i'm really being exposed to so many different i felt like it was a culture shock for me like granted all these people are from the same state but mm-hmm. you get culture over here you get a little bit over here charlotte is different from greensboro raleigh everything like that so to see all of that come together is fire but i love what you said mr what don't you do okay so what really I've heard a lot of different passions here. I've heard a lot of different things that you have going on, just different interests that you had. Like you said, you started dancing way back when. So do these... Do these things come about in a certain way? Are you always just kind of watching and staying in tune with things? Are these just things that you love to do? Where does your creativity really derive from? Like, why are you involved in so many different things? So it's crazy. I was having this conversation. Now, I'm going to dig a little deep, all right? We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna open some heartstrings. So it's crazy because, like, when I was younger, um, so I met my pops when I was 20, all right? And so growing up through life, it was always like I had no identity. So I always tried to look cool, what I thought was cool. You know what I'm saying? And I was just, okay, um, my friend's doing this. I'm going to do that because they're doing it. Or I'm going to do this because they're doing it. I never had, oh, my dad's a lawyer. or So I'm going to be just like my dad. It was never that. So, um, And it's crazy. I just, I just opened this up like maybe two weeks ago. I was talking with a good friend. And I was like, that's crazy because I never really thought about it. It was really almost identity crisis. But it played into my favor and I capitalized on it. Um, cause what things that I did do, I naturally became good at it. It was like, Oh, okay. Um, so, okay. Let me rewind, bro. The craziest thing I've done. I just thought about this. <laughs> the craziest thing I, in the, in the third grade, I used to get in trouble for whistling in school all the time. All right. I used to get in trouble all the time. So my, my um, music teacher, she was like, I got the right place for you, Terrence. Um, but that's the government name. Yeah. That's the government. <laughs> I got, but I cut out Terrence and it was like, went eight mile. Terrence, parents had a roof, like whatever, man. <laughs> but, um, but no, nah, so, bro, third grade, I kept whistling. She entered me into an international whistlers convention in the third grade, and I placed fourth, dog. Won, like, $50 in, like, a little gift basket. Um, but ever since then, like, a lot of the things I've done, I've naturally, like, just been either either been good enough to, like, be cool or or I was really great at it. You know what I'm saying? So um, started uh, – so I was always, like, I love fashion. Like, I was, I was drawing, like, sneakers – in middle school, I was drawing Air Force Ones, Jordan Sevens, and stuff like that. Um, and I put the I put the pencil down. Um, then I started liking the shoes, started trying to buy the shoes, started trying to be cool. You know what I'm saying? In high school, I'm always like most unique on in the yearbook because I was always trying to find something different to put on. Um, I had like the when Jerkin came out, I had like the retro shades with the, the shutter shade, the shutter shades or whatever it was called. Yeah, I had them. Um, and then I just really start. Then I started digging into photography. I joined a yearbook class. So that's when I started learning how to um, do Photoshop, self-taught Photoshop um, since high school. Um, the first thing I did was put me and my boy on the album, I mean, on the cover of like an NCAA uh, football video game. Um, but other than that, I just, you know, what what made me, back to the question, <laughs> but what made me, um, you know, hit these different things is just like, they just, they came from me trying to just figure out who I want to be, who I am. You know, it was like a, it was a journey to find myself. Um, and through that, I figured out, you know, like there's, there's a lot, some people who master one thing, there's other people who are good at everything. I'm the one who like, okay, there's things I'm great at, but I don't consider myself a master, um, but I am good at a bunch of different things, you know? So that's, that's how we got to it. That's crazy, bro. Even hearing about how you didn't even really come across that realization till more recently and what it really took. Once you said, like you said, you had to rewind a little bit. You really had to have this conversation with a friend and really had to dig and, and figure out and well, maybe it was because of this or, or it was because of that or naturally. But I just so happened to realize I'm good at it. And once you realize yeah. you're good at it, oh, you I just capitalize on it. Like, all right, like, why not? You know, like, why but not? I, I love that, bro. And I love how, in a sense, they all kind of relate to one another or can build off one another. Or you can kind of be started here. Like you said, put it down for a little bit, then get into it in a different area or a different array or different spectrum. I think that that's cool because, like you said, it's nothing wrong with being a 
jack of all trades. There's nothing wrong with mm-hmm. being a jack of one trade. There's nothing wrong with just naturally everything you put your foot in or everything you touch or everything you you involve yourself in, you just you just great at it. That's that's even a, a even better feeling. But I think it's more unique too when that's your identity. When it when it's just you, like you said, you got that title for a reason because you were always I'm even looking at the hat now. I don't think I ever seen a hat like that, bro. <laughs> I don't that that yeah, mixture. Yeah, 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 I love it. So it's just about daring to be different, bro. I think it's so important. And I think sometimes, even at a, a younger age, what may be seen as like weird or like the outcast or not fitting in, or like, man, why is he doing that? Come to find out, that's really a talent. Or so many things now that I look at, like what we were made fun of for growing up, or what we made fun of people for, or what we talked about. We doing now in some capacity or we've, we've kind of recycled it or put a different spin on it, and now it's really just that. So I love that. So now. With, I would say the era that we're in now, the time that we're in now, where content is just key, like you said, 50k off the reels. That's definitely a goal. Now I didn't even know you could get that high. So now that I know that, now I'm really about to start digging and plugging and playing at it. But I feel like we're just living in a creative cycle right now. Everybody is doing something, whether it be within their nine to five, whether it just be on their own, whether it be just an interest that they have, something that they've always loved, something that maybe they pick back up. With what you do, with everything that you're involved in, do you feel like with where you are, even being in Charlotte, do you feel like there's any limit to what you can and can't do? Do you feel like there's any barriers that are in your way right now from expressing yourself creatively? Or do you feel like you really kind of wake up every day from the content, from being a barber, from the clothing brand? You can just feel free to just create, just be in your own space. Yeah, so that's the number one thing about content creating now. Like, So with, with content creating, bro, it's like, you don't have to, the way I live my lifestyle, I don't have to wake up and try. Like, hey, hey, what am I doing today? Let's turn my camera on and do it. Yeah, you know, I do whatever I do throughout my day and I put the camera on it. I mean, some days, yeah, I do have my Sundays. I usually create my content. I create like multiple reels to post throughout the week. Um, but a lot of times it's like, yo, like whatever I'm doing, if I'm cutting hair, hey, let me record it. If I'm going to go skate, let me record it. If I'm, you know, I'm creating some flyers on graphic design, let me record it. If I'm working on my clothing line, everything's being recorded. Um, even like, so I work in sales and marketing. I work uptown Charlotte. Um, bro, I dress up, you know, I'm in the office. And, you know what I'm saying, Mr. Put That Shit On, so I'm in here. <laughs> I'm going to record that, too. You know what I'm saying? I wake up in the morning, okay. Um, and just really part of it being a, a, of course, influencer is the word, but it's influencing other people. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, like, as a black man, bro, like, you know how many compliments I get, like, walking uptown? Like, oh, my God, you look nice today. From every race, every gender, every whatever, even got, hey, bro, that suit nice, man. Like, appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? Just showing genuine love, like, you know, older ladies. You the show look good today. I'm like, oh, oh, don't talk. Look, look for a cuckoo. I'm single. <laughs> nah, man. But um, so yeah, it's it's. I don't feel like there's limitation. I feel like Charlotte is the perfect city. Um, everybody wants to be in New York. Everyone wants to be in LA. I, I do love LA. But um, Charlotte's growing. It needs people to grow with it. Charlotte don't have like in New York is flooded. In LA is flooded. Atlanta is flooded. Charlotte's not really flooded, bro. There's like no. There's a couple big things, but there is no heavy hitters. Like there's a million heavy hitters in in um in LA. You know what I'm saying? And if I go if I was to go cut hair in Atlanta, you know I gotta battle a ten thousand other barbers who might be better than me. You know what I'm saying? Like, so now I gotta step my game up. I gotta lower my price a little bit, but I gotta step my game up to match their shit because they're already established, they got their customers already, they got their clientele, they got whatever they need. So it's just like Charlotte's where, it's, Charlotte's where it's at right now. Charlotte is the city of growth. Every week you see a new apartment, Sky Rise. Um, South End is about to be another Sky Rise town. Um, so, yeah, right now I don't feel like there's any limitations. You made a great – I don't even think you really realize it because it's just so natural for you, Like, but that's really what it is. It's like you said, you don't feel – it's not anything that you have to force. I know for some people, like – you whereas you said Sundays are like your planning dates. For some people, like you really have to force certain things, or it feels like you're kind of putting out content like against your will, or because you have to, or or just to be seen, or because you want to make the money, or different things like that. With you, it's like it's just a lifestyle thing. I've talked to so many different people who, for them, it's where they find peace. It's where it's just like if they go a day, or if they let a day pass and they haven't created, or if they haven't done something, it's like, well, damn, what what just happened today? Or this is not me, or I'm off, or it's just like it's it's you feel that void there. Whereas and that's how you really know it's something that you want to do. I even tell people I, I utilize my Sundays just the same from just interviews to just plan it's just content. But for me, it's also just like, all right, this is what I'm supposed to do. Put the sports on in the back, have some music playing, whatever, whatever. This is just what I need. This is just me. It's just and it's something where I'm just like, OK, I'm thinking about the week. I'm thinking what I want to do Tuesday. I think I want to drop an episode on Thursday. I want to drop a recap tomorrow. Like I'm thinking about all of that. But it's also just like 
well, this is just a lifestyle. This is fun. This is what I like to do. It's cool. But I also do feel like for you, like you said, you think about all these other places. You think about where people are known. You think about where the industries are just so populated, so congested in a sense. I'm, I'm not supposed to be there. I don't need to be there. Yes, I love some of these places. Yes, LA is a vibe, West Coast, you know, all of that. But I'm here in Charlotte. I'm here for a reason. I'm here because the city is building. I'm here because I'm surrounding myself with so many other different creatives. I'm here because this is where I'm supposed to be establishing myself. I'm here because the competition right here, right now, is cool. Like you said, you go to the to the A. It's so congested there, man. It's so it's so many people who do so many of the same things. And it's not to say that it's anything wrong with that, but to put myself in that mix, now I just became one of the number. Now, how am I supposed to differentiate? How am I supposed to start from the bottom, essentially? Having everything that I have, like you said, there may be people out there who are better, who are sharper, who cut better, whatever the case may be. Why even put myself in that mix if I got it here, if I built it here, if I established it here, if they know kind of what I do here, if I'm in my own lane. So something that you spoke about that I guess I want to get into more now, you said Sunday. You said Sundays you use, those are your content days, you plan things out, everything like that. So with everything that you do, with working in sales and marketing, with doing AR, cutting hair, skating, everything like that. What's the balance look like? What's the, you know, I know that you're a creative individual. I can just tell from the wall in the back, from the hat you got on, from, from the content itself. How do you, how do you continuously balance all of that week after week? Because I know you have different things. I know you have a schedule here with work, a schedule with the brand, a schedule with the content. How does that all kind of come together? And how does TJ still, you know, put his best foot forward with everything? Um, the most important thing, bro, I actually learned this, like, before I was just, I'm super impulsive, super impulsive, like, if I want to do like, bro, somebody could call me right now. Hey, hey let's go to Atlanta. Got to work tomorrow. What time are we coming back? All right, let's go. Fuck it. Like, ain't, ain't got enough. I got to interview it at 10, at 1030 after that. 1130. I'm good, bro. Let's go. <laughs> we'll, be, we'll be back for time for work. Cool. Let's do it. <laughs> um, but now one of the things is like, um, just so like actually behind, like behind my screen right now, before I'm hopped on here, I'm planning my week. I'm taking my last week's, um, specifically for work right here, but I used it through my, through my life. Um, Google calendars is my best friend. Like Google calendar. First of all, if anybody watching this, Google calendars is my best friend. All right. Um, hey, Google, if you want to collab, we can do that. Uh, but I need, I need that check. But no, so really planning everything out, planning your week out, setting weekly goals, um, planning your week out, setting weekly goals um, for every aspect in your life. All right. But not only do, not only saying these are my goals for the week, but how am I going to accomplish these goals? Like that's super important. Like, okay, like say for instance, Oh, I want to make, um, I want to have five reels done for next week. Okay. Sunday, what five, goal, what five reels am I going to do? Um, it's going to be work related. It's going to be this related. Do I have a photo shoot coming up? Um, you know, who can I involve in this? Can I, how can I get it done? Um, that's like saying next year I'm gonna be a millionaire. That's my goal. Okay. How are you going to save 10? Are you going to save what, uh, what 80,000 every month? Um, are you gonna? I mean, are you gonna save like a hundred thousand every month, or are you going to? Okay, let's say that is the plan. What are you gonna do? Save hundred thousand. Let's break it down weekly. You know what I'm saying? Okay, let me. I got twenty five thousand dollars every freaking week. So let's get to it. If you if you have the revenue to do that, like cool, run it up, get your meal. But if not, one, be realistic with yourself. Um, two, make a plan. Like okay, cool. Like next week, my goals. Um, so my sales, uh, my my sales job. Um, my goal is 15 sales for next week. Okay, I know that's three sales a day. All right. I sometimes like if it then works, if like my say like Monday, Tuesday go by, um, I'm not on track. Okay, let's break this down hourly because if I get if I need three sales a day, that's at least one every so many hours. So like breaking those goals down and um that's the easiest way to balance everything out. Um planning and planning and scheduling, like um, how are you going to do it and when is it going to get done? Google Calendar. I'm, I'm not going to lie. This is the way you feel about Google calendars. That's the way I feel about iPhone reminders. And But I've also gone ahead now, now that I have another laptop too, everything from my interviews to just even, that's part of the reason why I made the scheduling link, just because I was recognizing that I was one, having to set a reminder for, to send the invite link. Then I was having to set another reminder for the interview itself. I said, you know what? If I just put it in the calendar, I'm going to see it. It's going to pop up every time. Mm -hmm. I check my calendar every day. Phone. Email. You, phone you know, so it's just like not so Apple. Like I said, if y'all listening, you know, iPhone, from, hey, I need that. So, but I think that it's important just setting things. And to, like you said, if I want to, if I know that I have, if I want to have a content for the week, if I want three reels by the end of the week or five reels by the end of the week, okay, I can't just, I can say that at surface level. 
am I, but I'm not planning. I need to make sure that I'm planning. Okay, well, I want to drop one, maybe Tuesday, sit a little bit, come back Thursday, sit a little bit, come back maybe Saturday or Sunday. You have to, you know, it's one thing to just, because there was a time where I was just writing things down. I was just saying things. I was just putting things on paper, but wasn't really putting any intention behind it. I wasn't really saying how I was going to get to it. And I think that's the biggest thing. We can set these. It's nothing wrong with setting goals. It's nothing wrong with having a plan, a vision for yourself. But how are you going to achieve that? It's not just a hop, skip, and a jump sometimes. Sometimes you got to navigate. Sometimes things come up in the middle of your week, and it'll mess up the content that you set. Sometimes a, something comes up, and you had something planned. You had something set to drop. You got to push it back. I had to reschedule an interview last week because of a work event. They collided with one another. But now that I was able to reschedule the interview, it actually interfered with another event that I had going on. So you also have to make sure that you're being realistic with yourself. You're, mm -hmm. Yes, you can set expectations for yourself. You can set things for yourself. But can you naturally achieve these things? It's okay to not have it all mapped out, to have it all figured out for that one week, for that one day. But like you said, if I'm if, if, if you're thinking about sales, if you can't get it to the day, break it down by the hour. If you can't get it to the hour, break it down even smaller. Break it, you know, keep going until you can get it to a, a space and a pace with yourself where, okay, that's achievable. That's doable. I can do that. So for somebody coming across your page, what is what is really, I guess, collaboration opportunities look like? So if somebody reaches out, somebody says, yo, TJ, really love the content, really love what you have going on. I want to... I want to collab. I want to find a way for us to mesh. I see that you skate. I see that you do the hair. I see that you just create dope content in general. What does that really look like from your side? What type of people are you looking to work with? Who have you even been able to work with to date where it's just like, you know, this is the kind, like you said, there's no limit to the creative expertise that you have. There's no limit to the creative nature that you have. But what type of people, I guess, what type of like-minded individuals are you truly trying to surround yourself with, to work with, to collaborate with, to make content with? Um, ideally, bro. Um the the end goal is to be like i never want to be the biggest in the room like i don't like because and I, I say that with a grain of salt because you know what I'm, saying? I'm not mr bougie you know what I'm saying? i work with anybody if you have a if you have a vision um and you have a creative mindset like as long as you can put forward that creative effort we can work um but if it's like oh i want i want to make a reel okay what's up man like do one of the things you be doing no <laughs> If I'm going to do one of the things I'll be doing, it's going to be my reel. Just my reel. You, if you want a cameo, bro, I'll, I'll get you in the Zoom shot. But other than that, bro, I'm sorry. Like, um, If I say, for instance, we're doing a collab post like TJ and, and um, Mar, you know what I'm saying? It's like, cool, we're going we're gonna to do something together. But as far as what I'm looking for, um, I think you muted yourself, bro. I ain't even hear you. Oh, that. Yeah, I think yeah, I heard you heard. Heard. <laughs> it was funny how you timed that perfectly. You said what I'm looking for, and we ain't hear nothing. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, so what I'm looking for, number one, is just a go get it, bro. Um, somebody who's really like striving um, and has like a vision and where they and, like have goals they're trying to reach, and they have like that that plan set forward. You know, um, number two, I would say um, just number two would be someone with a good following. My goal right now is to get to 10k. Um, I haven't monetized off of my reels yet, um, but my, some of my reels have done numbers. Um, like, so the goal is to get to 10K. So if I, you know what I'm saying, say you got 12,000 and we do something together and I get 100 followers off of that, you know what I'm saying? Very beneficial. But at the same time, a lot of people with a lot of followers, they, I, I, maybe they got from being cool to popular, but their content isn't there. You know what I'm saying? I, bro, I have a lot of people ask me, what did you, what did you, how did you do this? Or what did you shoot with? iPhone 14 Pro, uh, no, 13 Pro Max. I have none of my reels are off of a camera. Um, granted, next week, when one of my mans is in town, I will have some fire content. But everything now is off my phone. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can literally, it's literally all in how you hold it. So if I'm sitting there, like, some people are like, oh, yeah, this is cool. No, I'm literally like holding it and I'm moving like this when I create my reels. You know what I'm saying? I'm being, um, I'm being very, um, Atten like attention to detail um, when I when I do my reels. Um, so I say all that to say um, it's not a specific thing I'm looking for um, other than one being that, that creative. Um, but ideally, I want to work with people who are bigger than me. Um, one of the biggest compliments, I don't know if y'all um, know a guy or follow Stilo Gene on Instagram. Um, if y'all do, shout out to Stilo if you see this. Um, but one of the biggest compliments I've ever received is him asking me, he was like, hey, bro, like, how'd you do that? Like, Stilo gets paid. A good amount for he's sponsored by big companies um where i say sponsor collabs with big companies um and so with that i'm like that's the goal you know what i'm saying 
The goal is to get fifty thousand for four reels. <laughs> you just I'm not gonna lie, yeah, I, I, I gotta add that to mine. Now I, I didn't even know you could monetize like that. I more so thought that was like a TikTok or like a YouTube thing, but the mm-hmm. fact that everybody is moving in this short form content like error or like just you know seeing things like now you got the youtube shorts now youtube is low-key turning like twitter i'm getting mentioned and it's crazy how everybody is coming together and just the creatives and all of that little nooks and crannies that they're throwing in there but i think what you said about simplicity is so important how people you know when i used to watch podcasts i used to think oh if i don't have the crazy lights if i don't have all the cameras pointing in different directions if i don't have the nice setup in the back and the crazy i can't do this no i tell people i, I literally use three things for my podcast and I'm 120 plus episodes in, you know, now granted, do I want to add, do I want to add more? Do I want to do, yes, I definitely want to change my background. I definitely mm-hmm. want to add a little different things to make things easier, to make it look better. But like you said, it's power in this, in this device, man. It's so much that you can do with this, that you don't, it was for me, I didn't even realize that you could change your camera to shoot and record in 4k. Mm-hmm. I never knew that. Like, I was just like, yo, I was asking people with the same phone as me, bro. We took the same photo <laughs> How did, and that's not portrait mode. How did you do that, bro? Like how he said, bro, go to your camera settings real quick. He said, you see all the options? I said, wow. So what did I do? I took that phone, man. I went through every setting on my phone. I said, so what am I not doing? What am I not taking advantage of? Sometimes it's really starting with you. It's just recognizing that sometimes you don't need to, like you said, move it all fast, go all crazy. Be intentional. Be that. Get it right there. You know, be. It's so key. That that precision will, will take it a long way, man. And like you said, you just want somebody who's going to get after it. I think that that's so important. Oftentimes, I was the same way, just thinking that. Yo, I have to, I need somebody who's going to help me go viral. I need this person. I need this. I need all of that. I need all of that. No, I just need people who want to create, people who want to get after, people who want to, because like I, like we said, we, now granted, yes, it does help if your following is there, but if the content, a lot of times we see the people who buy the followers, who just do things that it doesn't necessarily match up or add up. So a lot of what you see at this value is just not really what that person is doing. It's the, the bots comment under their picture Click their likes real quick. Click the comments. Who's comment? Who are these people? Who are these accounts? They don't even follow these accounts. Like, but these are supporters in a sense. So match people who really have that same energy with you, who who are on that creative path, who are who are ticking the same way as you. And that was something that I realized once I just started bringing people on the podcast who were passionate, who loved what they did, who were involved in something that maybe I didn't know about. Man, the the content soared. It wasn't the because sometimes these viral sensations or these people who we feel like we need, you sit down with them or you chop it up with them. And it's so automated or so boring or so dry. And it's just like, they're not, you can tell that they're not doing it. They have people putting this together for them. They just need Mm -hmm. to appear here or pop in here or read some lines here. That authenticity isn't really translating. So the fact that you're like that, bro, you're not looking for anybody specific. You're just looking for that go-getter, somebody with that mindset, somebody who's going to say, all right, I see TJ putting the work. I see him making things happen. I'm putting the work. I'm making things happen. Let's put our creative heads together. I know we can come up with some fire, bro. It's as simple as that. So, all right. I, we're, we're about to end the year. I, I, I definitely can look back on this year just from a content perspective for you and here and even hear about what you talked about, just some of the goals that you set for yourself, just even what you're working towards. You've been working, but you definitely recognize that it, it doesn't stop here. It's more to it. You want to add, you want to continue to grow. So for the people tapping in, whether they're just finding out about you for the first time, whether they're going to follow you after this connect with you, whether they're already kind of tapped in with you and the content, what can we expect? I know a lot of times we use this new year, new me saying, and I don't really necessarily agree with that, but I also know that with us closing things out with Q4 kind of very much coming to an end, people are thinking, people are thinking about content for next year. Like you said, you do planning for the week. So I already know you're thinking about 2023 and far and beyond. So for what you can disclose for what's coming, I I love pulling things out of people. I love, you know, just getting a little sneak peek for what we can. So what can the people expect? What's, what's coming for you from, from any side, from whatever you got going on? Um, 2023. So, um, well, first I'll say, um, so I'm going to speak on something you said first, but like um, with creating content, um, you know, having the flashy stuff, having this, having that, all that's nothing without substance. You know what I'm saying? It's like if I buy, if I buy, um, if I buy a Ferrari with no engine, who gives a fuck? <laughs> it ain't going nowhere. If you have the fancy setup and no, and no substance, shit don't matter, bro. Like I've seen some people with fires come podcast set up in person the official mics the lights the couch the drinks the whatever and they sit there talking about booth bro like what like so that's just to say like you you're doing it the right way man um building that foundation but um as far as 2023 bro um so i break things down in quarters um so um you know i started i do my my weekly so i do quarterly goals um so right now even with my team so let's do a 30-day goal 90-day goal and a yearly goal all right um so next year for me some of the things is like number one, um, 
I'll be opening my own office with the marketing business. Um, deadline right now for this May, June, um, probably May. Um, this I'm, I'm putting my head down this year, all right? Um, that Ambition Rebirth drop, um, honestly, I'll be transparent. I'm late on that, y'all. Like, it's supposed to drop in February. It's December. And I don't know if y'all know, production takes a little bit, all right? <laughs> So, um, but right now the goal is to make a drop in February. Um, I dropped these last February in Urban Outfitters. Um, it was a vibe. It was really, really a vibe. I made a bunch of connects there. Um, so we got office opening up. Um, we have um, Ambition Rebirth drop. So I'm, I'm doing. I'm gonna do more content cutting. I haven't. I don't post it as much now because I'm super busy with work. So I put cutting on like the back burner for now. I still do cut, but it's for like those. I call them VIP clients. It's like family, friends, people who pay on top dollar. You know what I'm saying? If you pay, oh, I got $100, I'm cutting your hair. Um, if you, if I've known you since I was fucking 12, I'll cut your hair. Um, if we locked in, like if you hit me, say, bro, I need a cut. Okay, let's, let me fit you on my schedule. It's going to be after, what, seven, eight, when I'm you know done with my, um, my day job. Or it's going to be cool. Hit me Saturday, Sunday. Let's get it in. Um, so you will see more content coming from there. Um, and... Trying to think, a couple moves I still have in motion. I'm trying to like line up. Um, y'all will see me at Fashion Week. Y'all will see me at Fashion Week in February. That's just stay tuned. That's gonna be it's gonna be something. It's gonna the content's gonna be ridiculous. Um, actually, the calendar shoot. So if you some of my recent pictures I posted, um, me and a bunch of other creatives got up, did a calendar shoot um, for the year. That's about to drop. It's gonna be fire. Um, other than that, a couple other things got to keep under wraps. Um, I don't like putting too much out because, um, you know, speaking things in fruition is amazing, but also everybody's not on your side out there, man. Like, if I'm like, oh, I got this collab coming, they might hop in the email. They may have more followers than me. They may be able to link with that person before I do. Um, so um, I will keep a couple things under wraps. But um, other than that, man, like 2023 is going to be a very successful, lucrative year. Um I'm really ready to see what it brings. And like the new year, new me is a thing. But for me, every quarter is a new year. Every month, every first of the month, I'm like, all right, new month. All right. What happened last month? Um, it's done. It's kind of like, it's kind of like basketball. Matter of fact, oh yeah, I'm going to break this down for you real quick. So the way you look at setting your goals and stuff like that, um, everything doesn't always play out how you want. But I compare, I compare, I'm a sports guy. I play sports all my life. Um, I compare things to like football or basketball. Um, you know what I'm saying? Say for instance, Tom Brady. Tom Brady's one of the greatest quarterbacks to ever live. You know what I'm saying? Um, the greatest quarterback to ever live. Um, but when he dropped back and he's in the pocket, he gets sacked. You get four downs to get a first down. You get four quarters in a year, right? Okay, boom. First first down, um, first down, incomplete pass. Second down, um, gain of three. You know what I'm saying? Second quarter, you might gain three, three yards into your goals. You're trying to get 10 yards. Um, third down, you may get sacked. Okay, now you got one more quarter left. And it's like a minute left or 30 seconds left in the game. Bro, you can still score. Like nothing's stopping you from scoring. So whoever's watching this, bro, you get – it's four quarters in the year. It's four downs in football. First quarter, you first first down ain't going to come on the first drop always. It's not always going to be second. You can have five seconds left in the game. Think about um, who is Aaron Rodgers. A couple seconds left in the game, fourth down. I'm, I'm – like don't hold back. Like, bro, put your – step – Throw it, you know what I'm saying? Take that leap of faith. Whatever y'all think y'all, um, whatever y'all goals are, whatever you're trying to do, whatever, something you're scared about, bro, it's the fourth quarter. Like, why? Why Why are you being conservative? You know what I'm saying? You want to win or you going to lose? There's winners and there's losers in the world. Like, there's no, oh, I did good. No, you're the one you lost. If you lost, take that perspective. But be, then, then you got to be LeBron. Okay, I'm down. I'm down 3-1. Fuck. I, find a way to win, y'all. That's it, though. It's, it's nothing wrong with setbacks, man. I think as a, another sports guy, I love the way you put that just because I, I think about even some of the goals that I set for myself, put dates on it, put timelines on it, put different things like that. And it didn't necessarily always go the way that I wanted to. It didn't even, I even spoke about on the last episode, timing, just even with the interview, how me and Easter were, we were trying to schedule that interview for over a year. And it was just, you know, busy on my side, busy on her side. We just kind of social media was what it was accounts we weren't on a social media wave as much but we still tapped in when she did different things i would reply just check in she let me know what she had going on life happens but if i just didn't if that interview if i let it just sit to the wayside the first day that it was locked in it didn't happen forgot about it who knows what opportunities who knows what blessings i could have bought it's the same thing with the goals just because you know i set myself to get a, a sponsorship 
by my birthday. My birthday was in July. I just got the sponsorship last month. Had my birthday come and went, though, and I just, you know, lost motivation, just stopped looking, just put everything to the side. Come on, man. I could. And now I'm getting a product that's going to set me up for next year. That's going to help me. And I'm able to tap in. So, fellas, mm-hmm. I'm looking out for y'all next year. So just but just keep in mind, had I not done this, had I just lost all motivation for it, had I not kept my head down, had I not continued to build that foundation, keep plugging at it, keep doing the interviews, keep dropping the content, making the connections, talking to people, networking. Who knows what would have went if my if I just let my attitude shift and I just say I didn't get that goal. I failed. I took an L, you know, but using that as a lesson. OK, I didn't get this by my birthday. I still have. Five more months. I had to do some math from my head real quick. Five more months, like you said, four more downs, two more quarters, whatever the case may be. You can still rebound. You can still make things happen. We see it in sports all the time. Two minute drill, minute drill, thirty minutes with Tom Brady. You can't. We, come on, we can talk about his comebacks. Game is never over. All else fails. <laughs> if there was one person you don't count out, and I say this as a Giants fan, so shout out to the Tom Brady because he got us two rings at the time. But. You, you don't count that man out. It don't matter how much time is on that clock. No timeouts, no nothing. I'm not counting until that clock says zero, zero, because you never know what can happen. So I'm not counting nothing out of myself until that ball drops, until I see January 1st. And even on January 1st, it's a reset. It's just like, okay, whatever happened all last year, all last month, all last quarter, all last down, it's over. With. It's null and void. We're moving forward. I can take some things. I can bring some things with me and still try to achieve it, but I'm not going to lose it. I'm not going to let this say that, hey, just because I couldn't get it, just because I put the timeline on myself and did that. we It's important to do that, though. You don't want to just set aimless goals, aimless aspirations. Just be out here, just exist and tell yourself that you want to do something and just work at it when you feel like it. No, you also want to kind of hold yourself accountable. And I think that that's important. But don't let it be the end all be all. So even with what y'all hear TJ is saying, man, look, he's not going to give y'all everything because if they don't know your dreams, they can't shoot them down. I'm a firm believer right. in that. But he's also going to tell y'all just the same. Don't count him out. Don't uh, until things end, until he calls it quits, until the fat lady sings, it's not over. You know, we still going to make things happen. So for the people out there, I know we're going to have a lot of people tapping in. I know we're going to have some newcomers coming our way. Would you want to leave any messages for people, people who are interested in getting into the content space, people who are already making content, but they feel maybe that they could be doing better. People who are still trying to find that balance between work, being a business owner, being an entrepreneur, people who may even be having some like a creative block in a sense, not know really where to start or where to create. Do you feel like there's anything we haven't really touched on that you may do that helps keep your motivation or are there any even words that you want to leave for other followers or other audience that'll tap into this episode too? So, uh, yeah, I got a few things for you. Um, number one, um, like I'm gonna go over your mentality. Your mentality is to be a dog, all right. And I'm gonna break it down for you. If I have like, say, this is like my dog toy, and if I throw this, if I throw this toy to it, like, if I can throw it all the way across the room, all the way across the park, all the way across wherever, they don't care what kind of floor they own, they don't care what's in the way, the dog is gonna get it, all right. The dog is don't they don't get a dog in their mind, bro. They're so like tunnel vision. It's like I want this so bad. Sometimes it's gonna suck. Sometimes you might slip. Sometimes you're going to bump into somebody. Sometimes they gonna, you're going to get a pump for you. Gonna, uh, like, you know what I'm saying? You throw it in the dog, like, don't go for it. Like, be, so number one, be a dog. You know what I'm saying? Like, all, never, like keep going, all right? Number two is, um, especially just for the men, heavy on the men that's watching this. Bro, clear your mental, all right? There's nothing wrong with talking to people. There's nothing wrong with like, having feelings, expressing. Bro, it's okay to cry. Like, stop being so tough. Like, that shit's lame, all right? So, like, don't be a tough guy. Talk about it. Talk about your feelings. Because when you get those things out, you're able to express yourself more. That's like I told you, I, I, figured, I felt I'm 30, bro. Two weeks ago, I just found out, yo, that's trauma. My success came from trauma. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's wild. Um, and then lastly, um, well, two more things. One, um, if you do want to connect with me, hit me, shoot me a DM. Um, I'll, I'm always willing to work with anybody. Um, and then lastly, I'm going to leave y'all a quote. It's near and dear to my heart, man. I got it from my grandmother. Um, I'm a religious person. You know what I'm saying? Um, so and when when life would happen, you know, grandma, I'm stressed about this or that. Or, you know what I'm saying? She was like, um, she always tell me, she was like, um, and it's like from a song too. Um, she was like, did you pray about it? It's like, yes, ma'am. Then why are you worried? Do you trust God? Yes, ma'am. Then why are you worried? Because the Bible says if you're going to pray, then don't worry. Cause if you're worrying about it, then why are you still praying? Like, if you're worrying about it, you're pray- you kind of you're contradicting yourself. You know what I'm saying? That's one of the biggest things. If you're gonna pray, don't worry. Um, but if you're worrying, then why are you praying? Cause you're going against yourself. It's saying you have no trust, you have no faith. 
I never even some, something so simple, a simple question like that, yeah. that, that reads a deep reflection. You know? And that just sounds like a grandma thing. <laughs> so, nah, shout out to her for that. Like you right. said, it's, it's as simple as that. You, you can't even, it's no more explanation needed after that. I love that. And I think that that's important. You know, sometimes we, it, and I'm going to probably say this wrong, but faith is really just having that hope in things that you can't see. It's already done. It's already knocked out. 2023, like you said, is going to be lucrative. It was already going to be that way. We can't necessarily see it. It may start off as a struggle, but it's going to get there. You have to, you know, sometimes they, the the whole quote about, you know, the strongest battles and the strongest soldiers, but the rainy day, everything can't last. It, it only let, but that, that mentality, that mindset, I think that that's so important. Just the same, man. You can't let things keep you down. And I, now I see you about to say something. It's probably yeah. more important. So now go ahead. No, no, no. So, yeah, I, I just had this conversation with my man the other night. I'm um, not going to put his business on blast, but, like, um, anonymously, like, he posted on a story, like, man, I, you know, I'm going through da 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 it's, It sucks. It sucks. So I, I see him on the ground. So, one, check on your friends. But, two, I call him, and I'm like, nigga, what's up? Like, we was just vibing last week, bro. Man, it's, it's a lot, man. I'm stressed. I can't do this. And I can hear him. He's tearing up and stuff. I'm like. Bro, okay, I told my eight-year-old son this, bro. Like, we're playing basketball. He's like, I'm tired, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was like, okay, and back in, in life. Um, and it's, it's, it's almost like a 50 cent thing. Like, 50 was like, def, um, son, would, son wouldn't feel so good if it wasn't for rain. Um, you know what I'm saying? Joy wouldn't feel, joy wouldn't feel so good if it wasn't for pain. Um, death got to be easy because life is scarly. All right, yeah, but I feel like, <laughs> like bro, if, you, if you're going through life and, like, life beating your ass, if you're getting jumped and you're getting your ass whooped, or if it's rain, like especially in Florida, for him, like he's from Florida, so I use the analogy, bro. Like, it's if you're in Florida, you, in, it's, in Florida, you can see the rain, you can see where it's not raining at. Right. If you stand there and say, "Oh my God, it's raining. This sucks," like, bro, keep going. You being in that and like and hurting, like, I get it. It sucks. You know what I'm saying? Or if you gonna sit, if you get beat up, you just gonna sit there and curl. No, I'm skating, bro. I'm getting up out of there, like. Wherever you at, if shit hurts and you're watching this, and I'm gonna try to meet, get my camera. If you're going through something right now and you're in a hard time or in a deep place or in a dark place, like the only real thing to the best way to get through that is to get through it. You know what I'm saying? If you're sitting in that, it's only gonna it's only gonna beat you up more. It's only the pain is never gonna go away if you sit in it and soak in like and like granted, yes, it's okay to express. I said that earlier, but like to soak is a difference. Like don't soak in that moment. Um, push through it. Like, keep going. Just tell yourself, I gotta keep going. I tell myself every year, you know what I'm saying? This Christmas wasn't the best one for me personally. Next year, it's, gonna be, it's a whole nother vibe, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's another Christmas coming. There's another birthday coming. There's another anniversary coming. There's another day come every day, bro. Like, keep going. Take another step forward and don't give up. Like, come on, man. That's so real. I, it even makes me think about, too, that quote that I saw that if you're going through hell, why would you stop there? You know, why would you why would you just sit there? Why would you stop? You know, it's nothing wrong with expressing. But are you going to express with no action behind it? Or are you going to express, recognize, hey, I don't like this. So I'm going to act on it. Sometimes for me, it takes taking an L, going through something. Sometimes those are my biggest drivers. Those are my, OK, something didn't go the way I wanted to. All right, I'm going to drop an episode tomorrow now. Now I got to get the content popping. Now I got to make some, all right, we're going we gonna to rebound. I can't just sit on something and just let it be heavy on my heart. No, it's not going to do any good for me. I love that, bro. So you also threw in, you know, the way to connect. So something that we love to do on the podcast, we always end every episode. I want the people to get in touch with you. I want to see some content creation. I want to see even people lean on you, shop with AR, come get some cuts, anything like that. So what are the best places that people can, you know, tap in with you, reach you, website, social media, anything like that? All right, number one, all of my social medias across everything um, is um, TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, um, TJ Suave, T-E-E-J-A-Y-S-U-A-V-E. Um, from there, you can find my other links to my barber page, Suave Cut It. Um, you can find my clothing line page, Ambitious Rebirth, this is my bio. Um, and then um, I, if you're in Charlotte, you're looking for a job. I am hiring too. <laughs> so if you if you a people person, sales and marketing, um, and within the next year, um, I, it's it's gonna sound crazy, but y'all can tap in. I can give you more information within a year. I promise I'll change your life. Like, um, you know what I'm saying? I have, I have mentors, and my life has changed in the last six months. You know what I'm saying? By May, I'll be opening my own office. Um, I'll be touching six figures. Um, you know, my boss has six figures in his savings, not in his checking. So like, 
that's a real difference. You know what I'm saying? Like when it's in the savings, that's a different type of that's a type, you know, different type of time. You know what I'm saying? So um, yeah. So if you look for a job, hit me. Um, if you're trying to collab some content, um, I actually collab, collab with some other couple people today. So even if like if y'all, whenever y'all see this, um, if, you know, if it's a Sunday, hit me. I'm creating content. Um, but yeah, let's let's get this work, man. That's enough said, man. Look, we we he he dropping gems. He offering job opportunities, collaborations opportunities. I don't know what more y'all want from TJ, man. I I definitely think that he came on here and he shared a lot of value. And like I said, even spoke about in the beginning, it was just so crazy how we were surrounded by one another so many times and we didn't even realize it virtually just through mutuals. So this this really had to. It was supposed to happen from this. And now that I know kind of the way that you're on, I I can finally put the face to it and everything like that. Oh, it's up, bro. It's over. And next time I'm back in Charlotte, I, which should definitely be sometime next month, I'll definitely let you know. We definitely got to get some things yeah, up and running. But to everybody, look, I know that North Carolina, y'all are actually my biggest state when it comes to supporters, audience for the podcast. So tapping with TJ, Charlotte and surrounding areas, I definitely do encourage y'all. I got a lot of content creators. And if I need to call y'all out, DM y'all, text y'all, FaceTime y'all, just let me know because I will make that connection. Y'all know what I do. But the fact that I was able to even connect with him through another Chef, Chef Brenton, man, somebody who's really just been doing this thing through and through, man, keep doing it. So, TJ, I definitely do appreciate you, bro. I'm definitely am excited. I'm, I'm proud to hear everything that you got going on, but definitely very much looking forward to what's to come because, like you said, it's going to be another Christmas. It's going to be another birthday. going to be another anniversary. We're going to make sure that we writing it on our terms this time around. So, to everybody who continuously taps in, to everybody who made this year you know possible everything that came together from the events to just the collaborations to the giveaways i thank y'all i love y'all this has been another episode of the down to business podcast here with tamar turner